Hello, this is Joseph from Job Concept Tutorials. Welcome to this video. Um, I'm sorry I have cold, uh, but I feel I should quickly make this um, quick tip tutorial. Alright, so let's get into the tutorial. Alright, sometimes we have been taking some things lightly and there are some tools in the software which we don't really take uh, or we don't consider or we don't see as being as important and believe me some of us don't even know about this tool and i stumbled upon it and i thought i should share this quick tip with us so let's get into cinema 40. all right the name of the tool the name of the tool is lighting tool and what it basically does is to allow you place your light and to set a particular heat that you want to have um, the light interacting with. So if you look at this object now, and by the way, this object is in the content browser, I just use this out so that I can use it for illustration purpose. You can notice that there is a heat of light at the top here. You also have another heat at this side. Then you have a kind of bluish light here. Now, these are the lights that you see. So if I turn off all these lights, so you see the interactions. If I own this first one, you notice that is the light here hitting this place so let me turn it off and you see you see you can see the interaction if i turn off this second light that's the one giving me the heat at this top here so you can notice that then the last one is the one popping up this um place here you're having the reflection or specular heat on that top so how can we set our lights without having to move out of camera and set where we want a specular to hit from the light so that is what we're going to be talking about today so let me delete these lights and we're back to the start you can notice i have a protection tag on my camera so that i don't accidentally move my camera so we can see that so the first thing you're going to do is create your light you have your um area lights so if i go out of this camera just for a second and bring this out what i'm trying to do is just to scale up scale down this light so it is okay for this scene so basically all i need to do is just set the light and bring it up nothing more nothing then once i'm done i'll start setting this so if i come here and i go to the general give it an area light maybe i think that is really everything to it that I need for this light I don't even need this just so I'll go back to the camera so how can we bring this light you can notice the interaction of the light here but I want to do it in such a way that it hits this place I have the specular of this side being popped up by the light so I can bring up my lighting to I can go to the create from correct okay sorry um i think it's here yeah in my two then i'll have light into but how i brought how i usually bring it out is just hit shift c on the keyboard and i'll type lighting then you have the light into so another way is just by going to your tools hit light into so for me to do that notice that i have the light selected i have this light selected then i go to my tool lighting tool then i have this form of paint brush like stuff so all i need to do is just click once i click and drag i can set where i want the light to hit so you can notice what is happening and before we even start or before we continue any further let's look at some of this information here on this light so if you go to your lighting tool you have this you can set different modes maybe you want to have a trackball surface diffuse placement specular placement so but really um, anyone you choose here will determine how this tool will work so if you choose trackball and you move notice what is happening instead of me having a specular heat here, I'm not seeing anything so what is happening is um, moving this light i'm not setting the specular but i'll just move around for me to get where the specular is but this is not really um um how do i put it it's not really 
interactive because I want to click on where I want the specular to be. That is why I usually go to specular. So you could set your specular, you could set your surface. So if you go to surface, so you see what is happening. So surface also acts more like specular. You have that. So if you go to diffuse placement, you can also see that. But diffuse placement is not more like specular. Just so, but the best one to choose you can also use targets and um, pivots. Targets will allow you to set your target and move your target about. But for this um, pivot, it won't work here now. Um, I think um, target is the one that doesn't work here because I have um, I have protection tag on my camera. If I duplicate this now and I get rid of this protection tag, come back here. Lights. I mean my target. If I move, okay. So high volt. All right, so this is um, not act is acting up on me. So I think I will just go to the tool that I'm talking about. So if you go to specular soft, um, placement, this way you can set where you want your specular to be. So you can see this is more um, interactive. So I want the specular to be somewhere just like I said. So I'll just bring my mouse until I have the heat, so you can see. So this is what I want. So once I have this specular set here, then maybe I want to add another light hitting this place. What I can do is make sure I don't have the light selected, go back to my light, then I'll click add light. Notice light is not selected. So if I click add light, it adds another light, then I can start placing. So if you click on this add light and you click, another light will be added into the scene. So as soon as I let go, the light is added. Alright. So what we'll do with this is set your make it um area and make it area light. So I can also change this from that to specular placement. So I can start setting where I want this specular to hit. So let's assume I want it to hit somewhere here. So that's just about it but there are some shortcuts and some changes to this and that can be seen using your key combination so if you hit down your shift key and you uh, move your mouse what will happen is it's going to change the distance of your light from the subject so if i'm moving my mouse notice that the light is getting closer to the object and if i move it it gets further away from the object that is what shift does then control will reduce or increase the intensity of the light. So if I hit control, hold down control, move my mouse to the left, it reduces the intensity. If I move my mouse to the right while control is held, it increases the intensity of the light. So that is there. Oh, I now remember. Sorry about that. Talking about moving the camera, I now remember. What moves the camera is holding down alt. If you hold down alt and try to it turns the camera just like a normal camera so uh, that doesn't really not really a thing actually so basically the two combination key is holding down your shift so if i hold down shift and i drag what i'm going to have is i'm going to have the lights moving close and moving or moving further away from the object then if I hold down control, it increases the intensity or reduces it. So that is just what I wanted to show you guys. So you could make use of your lighting too for your advantage. At, so you don't have to be going out of camera and start moving lights, placing wherever you want. So you could just create the light, position it first, then use this key combination with these two. Then you could have this. So I think this ends this um, quick tip tutorial so if it was helpful um please just appreciate by giving me a thumbs up and that will be so nice to do that so do have a wonderful day you could just look at the side and look for other tutorials of mine or you could go into 
my channel for more tutorials.